Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today what I would like to do is a little bit of lighting and maybe a little bit of something else. What my plan was as I was going to go to the twilight forest with the children and you haven't seen the children yet because they don't play so much but I was building some armour for them. Oh there's a zombie down there, let's just sort him out. How did he get down there I wonder? I wonder if this will work. Oh yes, no problem. Let's just go and pick up his remains. Isn't that strange? Where he came from? Never mind. Let's go back up to the workshop. And I've been building for them some armour. I was building a so advanced armor. In the process I'd forgotten that one of the important steps is to be able to make um there's something on the floor here that's very strange. I can't get I can get past it, but there's sort of like a two block square you can't see. Never mind. We shall sort that out. So one thing I did discover oh, I was also doing a bit of uh, harvesting as well because I'm running low on juice. So I was going to make some more juice. In fact I can do that now while I'm thinking about it. Just do 64 of those and 31 of those. I've got lots of juice now. I'll put the juicer back into the uh, knapsack. Oh, it's already there. It must be Dominic's juicer. How I got that, I don't know. Let's go put it in his chest. And I have a chest for the children. Actually, it's on the floor above, I think. No, it's this. I forgot where I put it. No, and I'll put it in this chest for the time being. Well, what I discovered is I needed to make some coolant. Let's jump over that. And the way to make coolant is you need some cooling cells. Um, have I got any cells? Yes, I've got plenty of cells, but in this chest here. So I'm going to take a few universal cells and I'm going to take a few empty cells. I don't have any empty cells, so what we'll do is we'll make a couple. And you, all you need to do to make empty cells is to extrude tin plate, if I'm not mistaken. So here we come to the metal form. Let's set that to extruding. And let's put in a tin plate and see what happens. I think we get cells in. Yes, we do. Empty cells. So we'll just make six. And what you can do with these um, cells is to is to use a canning machine and some uh, lapses we need, but we need ground lapses so let's just grind some lapses, here's eight, that's just fine I won't go in that, will it? nope, oops, come back I think it has to go in the pulverizer or if it isn't going to pulverizer then it has to go to the macerator indeed what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up some of these universal cells with uh, distilled water. I think I've got this yes, distilled water in this chest. And what you do, the easiest way to fill up these, in fact, is to simply take the universal cell and right click on the uh, on the tank, as you can see. Now I've got five universal cells filled with distilled water. And what, you, and what you can then do with the universal cells is to simply click on the canning machine, if I can find it, press there, uh, there we are, that's the one with the pipe. And so if you shift, where have they gone to, let's put those down here, if we shift right click on this one, yeah, let's try again, and you see what happens is that the cells go into this tank here, What's happening is, I was filling up the distilled water, I don't want it to do that really. It should come and fill up this tank here. So, what are we saying? Fill cell from tank. How's that coming across? Ah. Yes, that's not what I wanted at all. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, we have enough in here. We have two buckets full, which will make um, 
I think two coolants, I probably need more than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tank here. Oh, I'm probably a bit full, so let's just get rid of some of the stuff that I've got to me because I don't need it all. Let's just send it away. I was just in the uh, at the quarry doing some micromanagement. <laughs> When I was doing that, I picked up quite a lot of bits and pieces that I don't think I really want with me. And also got lots of food now, so that's good. Let's just swap over. That's what I've got anything new, so I've got a cell in here. Right, universal cells, distilled water cans, empty cans. Okay. So now I should have this tank. Yes, I have. So what I can do is I can put the tank into this uh, the canning machine here and set it to enrich canning drain cell into tank so we put the tank in here and it will simply drain all the water out of here you will then go into this chamber here but because of the fluid ejector upgrade and this pipe what happens is it goes out of here comes into the pipe and then gets fed back into the left hand side which is where we want it Right, so let's take that out of there. And now what we need is some ground lapis. So we've got some lapis from the macerator. Lots of those. What you then do is you say, okay, what I want to now do is I want to enrich, fluid enrich tank or cell. And what we do is we put into here some lapis some lapis, lazuli, and then we put some empty cells in there and these should then get filled uh -huh. that's not working, it's probably not working because of this tank here, so let's empty out some of this stuff in here It's not empty, yes, that's worked just fine. And because there's no server, I'm not pushing it back in again. And so now we have a coolant cell, which is basically what I was trying to achieve in the first place. So let's just pick up this uh, water, uh, distilled water tank, put it back on the wall, and we'll also take the, the distilled water cans that we've got in here and just right click those on there, and that'll simply empty them out. See, now we have the universal cells and the empty cells. And of course, we could put the empty cells in here. Uh, I think we only need to put one in actually. Let's put the one in there. So that should do the four. And we should end up with eight coolant cells. And what we need the coolant cells for is to make the. Uh, uh, how many have we got? Five. I'll just take another one. To make the 10k coolants that's required for the upgrade. Uh, that's the overclockers. You need the overclockers to make some of this advanced armour. So, for example, if I want to make this armour here, part of it was, I think it was in these ones here, we need these overclocker upgrades, which requires 10k coolants. And 10k coolants is simply water cells surrounded by tin plates. So we could do, for example, and in fact, let's put half, let's put half of those in there. I did that by uh, this slide goes around here, so that should be 12. So it's 4, wasn't it? Let's do it like that. And just put the other ones down here. It would help if I put in the, the ones I actually wanted, wouldn't it? Here we are. So now we have the 10. And these don't stack. So if we go back to the recipe that we need, so we could actually go here and type U for use. And we can then see, well, right, this is what we want. So we want one circuit, two insulated copper cables, and three 10k water coolant cells, and we'll get two clocker upgrades, which is just fine. We'll do that. This is fairly straightforward to do. In fact, I think I've already got some made because I was busy making a lot of stuff in here. So we needed one of those, didn't we? And we also needed some cable. I don't see any cable. We'll make some. But it's actually quite useful having copper, copper wire all the time anyway. 
to use for all sorts of things. Not that back into that just. We only need two of those, didn't we? So let's put those in there as well. So then we needed the two wires, insulated copper cables, and one circuit. And then we have two overclock upgrades, which we can quite happily use on the industrial craft machines that over here. So, right, that was one thing I wanted to show you. The other one was lighting, wasn't it? So let's have a look at lamps. And what we do have is all of these quite exotic lamps. And the one I wanted to make, I think it was from, yes, aluminium lamp. Because you can make from a radiant aluminium lamp. Because what I wanted to do was make some of these. So you make, if we go to this next recipe, you put two together and you get two aluminium lamps. But they're flat ones. In fact, they still take up a block, but they look cool. So let's do that, shall we? So, uh, so we need two aluminium ingots and one signal ingot and two hardened glass, and that will give me four lamps. Aluminium ingots are simply made by aluminium blend, which is made by three tin, one silver grit or dust, and one energized glowstone bucket. And that will make four. So I think we'll do two sets of those. So we need six tin powders, one silver, two silvers and two buckets. We've got plenty of buckets. What I really like about these uh, these portable tanks, you can simply right click on them with the buckets. And it, you see you immediately get the energized glowstone bucket, which is what we needed. We also needed some tin pulverized, which should be in this chest here. And we needed two silver, so let's take two silver out of here. And the tin is this one. We needed six. So let's go back to the recipe for that. Oh, of course. That one. So it was two silver here. Two sets of tin around here. Three, four, put the other bucket in here. I get the bucket back, which is also quite nice. So now I've got eight. So now we need to make the this the signal and ingot. Signal and ingot is fairly straightforward. It's a signal blend, which is very similar. It's just silver with copper and one redstone bucket. So we'll do two sets of those. Oh, which you only need one set of those. So redstone bucket, let's do that first. Destabilized redstone in this chest here, which is, we only want one of those. And we need three copper dust and one silver dust. Copper dust, one, two, three. One silver, oh, that's a tin, sorry, one. Put the tin back. I was doing control left click to get those in. There, so we've got one there, three like that, and one bucket like this, and we should have the signal. So now we have the, the mixer. So let's go over to the induction furnish. furnace. If we've got uh, power. We can easily make these. Right, now we have everything I think we need for the lamp. So let's have a look. I just hardened, fused glass, look, hardened glass doesn't make any difference. Let's put those down there. So we're, so we're going to end up with about 16 different lamps, which is just fine. Hardened glass is here. Like that. Put those back here. So now we need, if we just put two of those together like that, we end up with two radiant lumium plant lamps, and they're quite neat. What you can do with these? Let's go downstairs to the to where the mobs are. And let's put one on the wall. Ooh, what was that there? Something got dropped. Let's put one one on the wall here. Oh, there's a. As you can see, there was obviously a, um, a creeper in there because let's, let's drop some um, gunpowder. They get they tend to get killed by the uh, by the by the orbits anyway. So what you can do with this, you can simply put it on the wall, and at the moment they're off. So what I should have gone and got. Let's go back into here first of all. See if there's any more. Oh, there's no more. Maybe there's one more at the back here. 
and you see it's now full and it should be harvesting all of these and you'll see there should be almost a continuous train of items going up here which sure I'll look it's a bit jerky my screen at the moment I don't know why. so what I'm just going to do now is to go upstairs and get once I've got it on there I don't think I have the multimeter no, I think I put the multimeter in a chest in the workshop somewhere obviously forgetting where I put it it's not that it should I say look that's what I wanted so with the multimeter what you do is you shift you shift right click on the lamp and you can decide to do certain things that you can make it psychedelic if you want to because you can control the colors so here are these ones here so we can sort of with the multimeter shift right click and here we have uh, at the moment it's off so we can switch it on which is oh that's it oh yes always on and then you can control the colour so we can have a red one or a cyan one magenta one that should be magenta or we can have it green and red should make magenta you can have green you can have off which would be a bit useless but so that's going to have should be magenta we've done Sign we've done what we haven't done was the other one which has these two mixed yellow that'll do and then you press escape you now have a bright yellow lamp and of course you can do other things with these shift right click again you can change this mode here to default on scale proportional scaled inverse always off always on I'm not quite sure where you got default switches so that means we've got a switch so what we can do then is to take a switch Better get that right Oops. put it beside the lamp here and turn it on like and of course if you then change if you then share I don't know I need the I always forget to use the multimeter shift right click again I can have default on I can have def default on like this and then of course the switch will turn it off quite useful isn't it so you can have a load of any colors you want really so this looks quite nice and I think that's all I really wanted to, to say for today I hope you enjoyed this one until next time bye for now